Hello my friends, I continue to make elements for VIP package about dress lil and today I'm making small wedge and also I'm making a very interesting lace ribbon with leaves like this and in the middle we have very beautiful design with big holes and uh, yes, these lace ribbons, I can say it's like a main element, main part of our dress lil. We should make three long lace ribbons like this and also we can change colors, uh, yes, if we, we want to get similar result or we can use even one color and it will be gorgeous. So today I'm making sample of this lace ribbon and small wedge. Let's continue our work. For my wedge I am using small one. In the beginning I used the most dark color, next we have middle one and now I am working with this uh, color is green turquoise 606 and now I will make next rows after in the end I will use uh, the most light color this one Italian viscose I already joined three threads here so I will work with them and I am using like in my previous videos I told you I am using small steel hook 1.7 millimeters and I'm working here right now with this color, yes, and uh, now I will make a row with these long stitches here, and after I will make light row by using light thread. This will be row behind this green turquoise thread, and we will have like two colors mix it like this. And also I want to say that this wedge, it has five petals and previous one that I made in previous video, it was a really big one and there we have eight petals. The design is similar, just yes, uh, schemes are a little bit different and uh, but um, almost all design is the same. Also here we have picture with color design, so it's for my student, she can clearly see where I used each color. So now I will make this row with long stitches. I am using colored scheme from this journal. And here we have two stitches after 14 loops. 14 loops and the next one stitch I will make like this. After two times yarn over and also one stitch from here one two three times yarn over and double treble crochet stitch like this after switching loops again three times yarn over and again stitch i like to make this wedges and also fringes a little bit loose because I want to get really tender result, not tight and that's why I try to make this all stitches a little bit loose after I stretch and iron it I will get really awesome result uh, really what I want to get, yes, very delicate tender lace so now we have two stitches after four chin loops and again three times yarn over and stitch to this point and one more stitch to the same point. Okay, after four chain loops, and one, two, three times yarn over, and again, long stitch. After I have on the scheme, let's see, 14 loops, 3 times yarn over, again double treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row and again one more stitch to the same point and we will get beautiful two long stitches, again 14 loops three times yarn over and two stitches to the same point and like this continue to work yes nice nice result okay I need to make let's check on the scheme four times we have this so now I will go to this part from here yes yeah? so three times yarn over I will make first stitch 
here and after four times yarn over and second stage to the next stage of previous row yes we have it and now four chain loops and again long stitches with four times yarn over so let's make one two three four and to this point really long stitch after again four times yarn over to the same point once again long stitch like this okay great now we will continue to do the same yes and next i will show you next rows Uh, so I finished it to make this part. Now I need to use another color so this thread I can fix by using pin. Because next I will use this color for one more row. We will create bases for five petals. Now, um, now I will join new thread. This will be light turquoise, the most light color in our design, in our VIP package. So here we have three threads joining together. It's very beautiful, a shiny, silky, high, high quality thread. Perfect for dresses, for blouses, for projects like this. So now I need to join this thread. And I will make, let's see where to join this one. To the stitch. Here we have two stitches to this one. And I will be able to make this row. Just I need to make it at the back side of our work. So let's check where we have it. Okay, we have it here, so I need to join at this side because this is a back side of this wedge. So let's join it in the right place. And two times chain loops, fix the yarn. And now I can start to make this beautiful row. Next, I should make one single crochet after one double crochet stitch and again one single crochet and in such way i joined new thread and i started to make row and we are using light color behind this intensive green turquoise Now I finish it to make this additional row at the back side by using light color. Uh, we can fix this thread because after I will use it to make beautiful petals, the most light colors color I will use. So also we can fix this yarn. And now again I will work with previous thread, remove this pin and now I can start to make bases for five petals. Will be nice. Now I finish it to make uh, five bases for five petals. I used uh, puff stitches, yes, and now I can cut the thread, the last stitch of one single crochet I made, one more chain loop, leave tail around 20 centimeters and fix the thread. And then now I can work only with this light thread. I will make two rows and we will finish to make this small wedge. I call it Lacedi this wedge I'm making first petal now the longest stitches with three times yarn over also in the middle we will make pico from five chain loops one two three four five finish to make pico and after second half of this petal we start from long stitches double treble crochet stitches in this way we can get this beautiful shape three times here and over now longest stitches around this arch And after I will make three stitches with two times yarn over. One, two. Uh, three stitches and now two stitches with one time yarn over. One 
single crochet and after one stitch to the base and from here I need to make one stitch around this arch and after I will make shell in the middle with eight stitches and one pickle. I almost finished to make last petal and now I will make small stitches around this chain two double crochet stitches and one single crochet after to this base one stitch and next one single crochet around arch of previous row after one chain loop two times yarn over and I will make shell from three double crochet stitches and last stitch two times yarn over to this point just I need to make it a little bit loose next pico one two three four five finish to make pico I think I need to turn it like this because I will go back I need to make the last row with edging here one single crochet stitch and now one chain loop I need to join to this petal and I will count two, three, four to the stitch number five. Single crochet after one more single crochet stitch. Next picot. Finish to make picot. Next single crochet and after again one stitch. In such way, I just started to make last row this will be edging around five petals and also i will make some stitches here where we have this shell between petals so i will continue my work and next i will show you the result i just finished to make last stitches in this last row i can cut the thread next i will hide few tails and we can start to stretch and iron this element, this ready wedge. So let's take needle with big eye and we can hide few tails. Everything is very simple, just we need to work accurate. So this light thread I need to hide in this light lace. In this way, colors will be the same and we will not see this tail in the middle of our stitches. So it's better to reach to this area where we have a lot of stitches and there I can fix it very good and very easily. Just we need to cross some area three times, change direction and insert needle in the middle of stitches like this. And after we can cut this tail and everything will stay like this. Now we have this green turquoise color and also let's cross some area just to find better place where to fix this thread. Be careful. Maybe I can go to these stitches here and after I can go along here a few times in the middle of stitches. First time, second time and third time in the same place and now we can cut the thread next I have the last tail in light color and it's not difficult to hide this tail because uh, here we have very close to this petal I will reach to this area here and again for me is the best place to hide tail at this part of petal we have a lot of stitches so just insert needle and three times in the same place work like this change direction and that's all and you will fix this thread very good now we can cut this tail and now I will start to stretch and iron our small wedge with uh, five petals
So just open each petal and fix the steam iron. We need to stretch very strong this ready element and we will get very nice result. Make straight each picot. First I will work with petals and after I will work with this grid that we have here. Just here I need to make beautiful shape. So petals are ready, now we can work with this grid, so we need to stretch it, catch this beginning of grid and stretch it as much as you can, the very maximum, just you need to open this element, really good. So to different directions, stretch it and fix. And so our small wedge is ready. It has five petals, four different colors. Yes, we are using all colors that we have in our VIP package to create this wedge because in such way we can mix all colors and design will be really harmonious if you have different colors in each element. Yes, this uh, wedge we will use at the bottom part of uh, dress lil. And we will have two small wedges and also one big. And they will help us to create really amazing lace, gorgeous design. So this fantastic wedge, Lacedi, is ready. And now I will start to make the last element for VIP package. This will be sample of lace ribbon. And we will create right now. I think we will start from the most dark colors. I will use two colors to make this sample because in real life we should make really long lace ribbon and we should change colors a few times. So let's start. Uh, my friends, I just started to make this lace ribbon. This will be sample. And first colors that I am using it's, I will show you, 28.99. By using this color I plan to make five uh, leaves like this. And after I will take, take another color, this will be uh, 858 and by using this color for this only for this sample I plan to make uh, three leaves so in total this sample uh, include just will have eight leaves yes and we will make it after I will iron and stretch it and show you the result yes in this moment I just finished it to make this middle part with long stitches journey to the first leaf and now I will be able to create next two leaves and I will use the same color. Uh, this design is very nice. We are using sometimes back loops in stitches and sometimes front loops. That's why we can get uh, such design of leaves. They are very pretty. After we will stretch and iron them and you will see the result. How everything looks. So let's continue our work. I finished it to make third leaf. Now I need to cross this part and uh, I need to reach to this middle part. Here I will start to make one, one more leaf like this. So 
I will cross this area, I should do this accurate, not tight. Just along one side of this leaf. And yes, in such way, without cutting the thread, we can continue our work. These lace ribbons are very nice. And it's really nice pattern to work with it. Step by step, you can change color, so it's very interesting. Uh, now let's look to the scheme. Yes, we should, after first leaf, we need to reach to this chain. We will work around, yes. So just cross this area. And from here we can join to this chain. We can make some stitches, arches, and after I will go to this left side and we will start to make base for leaf number four. So now you can see we have <laughs> three leaves and I just started to make leaf number four. Like I told you, I will make five leaves by using these colors. So let's continue this work. I finished it to make leaf number five. Also, I made here stitches in the middle part. Now I can cut this thread because for the sample I want to join another color, yes. I made additional chain loop, now I can cut the thread, fix the yarn, and now let's take next color, this one, we can join it and start to work. Don't forget to leave tail, yes, around 20 centimeters. I will fix the yarn, I think it's better to fix it here. Next, when I will hide tails, I will join these two parts. So I can join thread here and after I need to make six stitches and two more stitches around small arch and joining to this point by using a slip stitch and now I can go to this direction and after I can start to make leaf number six by using new color and I have beginning like I told you I will join this part when I will hide tails I will insert needle here so I will join this few small stitches and everything will be solid without yes without open spaces and it will be joined here. So now I will start to make uh, leaf number six and this color is a little bit lighter. I almost finished it to make this sample. I just need to make some arches and slip stitches. I will cross this line along uh, its leaf number eight and after I will cut the thread, this sample will be ready. Okay, now I can fix this thread. Okay, I made eight petals. I changed colors one time, so eight leaves and three leaves. Very beautiful lace ribbon. Now I will hide few tails and together with you we will stretch and iron this part, this sample. And now step by step open each leaf and stretch it to different direction like this 
and fix by steam iron. At the both sides. And now second one. And this middle part also now we need to stretch this long stitches and open these leaves like this. Yes, and after I will do the same with next leaves. We can start also from this part, will be better. We can make straight this first leaves. And now gradually I will stretch each part, middle part, also each leaf. These long stitches also. And now, my friends, you can see the result. A really awesome lace ribbon, just sample. Uh, very tender, slow color transition because we are moving from the most dark to the middle and after to this green. And the last will be light, this one at the top. And uh, you can see closer how beautiful is this design of lace ribbon. Small leaves, big stitches in the middle. Looks really special, I think. Shiny, silky, very soft and pretty. And these lace ribbons we will use for dress lil. I think, and also my student can join thread and just use this sample. This will be like beginning end. Uh, yes, my student can continue work, so it's really great. And now all elements are ready. In the next video at, at our YouTube channel, you will see how I will pack this VIP package. You will see journal, also all elements, all threads, and I will show you closer everything once again and you will see this full uh, crochet kit that I am sending to my student from United States. So right now I have prepared everything and also fabric pattern is ready. So watch next videos and you will see the result of this huge work. I wish you gorgeous results, big inspiration and see you very soon at the new videos. Bye bye for now.